I don't even think they realize how fun it's going to be. You know, most of these kids haven't played at Gregory Gym. They've played with a lot of these players in their high school teams and club teams before they came to A&M. Uh, but I don't think they really realize how much fun it's going to be. What? Well, just kind of try to stay on the same kind of note that we've been on is trying to just stay mentally focused and staying in the play. We've, we've had a tendency to let other teams get runs on us and uh, that, that causes a lot of trouble because we're, we're very talented and we can outplay a team on stat sheet but sometimes uh, when momentum shifts their direction, our opponent's direction, we, we quit playing the way we know how and so I think we're just going to stay focused on, on being consistent, being in the moment and, uh, and executing the game plan. Just about every kind of challenge they always present, they've got some fantastic outside hitters that that are, are feisty and young and big. Um, they've got some middle blockers who hit the ball fast and straight down. And um, I think, you know, we're, we're improving our serve and pass game. And if we can really keep that game steady and strong, uh, that, then that'll set us up nicely for our offense, which is very balanced and, and, and pretty experienced. Um, but we, we have to serve them tough to make sure that we keep them out of system. And uh, we have to play great defense. Their outside hitters will bang the ball. And no matter where it's coming from on their court, that third attack is really tough. And so we have to, uh, we'll have to play some great defense, which is always a lot of fun. I absolutely did see something new. Uh, it, things that we have been talking about. Um, you know, the week before we were right there in match in sets with different teams that were playing the same type of game as we did and we had every opportunity to take it and we didn't and so uh, against Arizona on Friday morning the team came with great focus and uh, and just I don't know it was an element of um, not not taking every play and and reacting too much to it just really playing you know, point for point, and in the true sense of the word, which is so easy to think of as, as a spectator, how easy that would be. But it's really not that easy when the sport is just constantly shifting. Mo you know, the game is shifting momentum all over the place. We handled that really well. Our serving, it showed up in our serving. It showed up in our blocking. I think we outplayed Arizona in every every aspect on the stat sheet, and uh, I I just saw great um, progress there from my team. Yeah, it'll be nice to be at Reed Arena, especially with a, a great Wisconsin team. They have a setter coming in that's kind of being groomed as the next Olympic setter for maybe 2020, 2024. And uh, she's really good. She's been an All-American for all three years of her career. And now in her senior year, she's leading this team. Uh, top 10 team in the country. Great blocking team. Um, they, they have a very quick transition with their middle attackers. It, it's just going to be a, a huge challenge, but I'm hoping with 12th Man, with uh, all of our fans and a team that's really excited to play at home that we'll, we'll be able to take one.